Okay, you know, there's some talk about doing electronic MORs. I'm against electronic MORs because once you submit information to people about what file number you want, they tend to go through and fix the file up. We've had a property in our portfolio where OIG did an audit and they found all type of missing signatures and dates. They found fraudulent signatures and date. Needless to say that that management company had to pay out a lot of money. And we're bringing you this tip because I was just really shocked. I could see a manager missing a 59. But when you miss three, four, five, six, that's just negligence on the manager's part. And if you submit them to throw tracks for payment, then you're committing fraud. And fraud is a serious thing in the housing industry. And so we don't want you to be guilty of that. What other steps or things could you tell us about that, Deanna, in terms of the vouchers once you get them and you get ready to pay them? Deanna is the one that pays your HAP voucher for Alabama, Mississippi, Connecticut, and Virginia. I have a great team of six um, very confident processors who do your work and you've probably talked to sometime along the way. But one of the things we can't tell until the MORs are done is whether there's an actual signature on that file. Um, in this particular case when Vicki called back, that's when we realized that the signature had been put in the system. We paid on the 5-9. There is no signature at the property. So that is not a legal 5-9 from HUD's perspective because there's no signature. By signing that 5-9, the tenant is saying, I agree to this. The owner has to sign that 5-9. They're saying that they have calculated this correctly. This is what it should be and this is what we're billing for. And more or less that they've witnessed the right. resident signature. Right. And if you take it a step further and you actually look at the 52670 form, which is your voucher printout, Vicki said, you don't send us the paper anymore but you're required to keep a signed paper hat on your, in your files at the property. And if you read the bottom of the first page, it tells you that you have gone through, you have verified this, and by signing it, you're saying there are penalties that could be applied to you if the information is incorrect. So the importance of signatures is huge. Uh, we don't want you to do anything wrong. We know you don't knowingly want to do anything wrong, so that's what this Tuesday tip's about. And hopefully this tip has been of service and knowledgeable to a lot of you to tell you to make sure that you check. We know as managers you wear a lot of hats. We know sometimes that the certifications go back to back, things happen on property, but we do want to, to make sure that you check and don't transmit a 5-9 that does not have a signature. Now HUD does allow for extenuating circumstances and that's what we're going to talk about in part two of the Tuesday Tips. So we'll look for you next week on part two of the Tuesday Tips on missing 5-9 signatures. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.